Hello everyone, this is Helbody. When you try switch the Unix shell script from Z shell to Bosch, but you have a difficult time making a change, and also it comes up with an error message. If you have the same problems and want to learn the solution, please keep watching my tutorial. It's been a long time since I did a tutorial, but I promise all my supporters that in 2022, I will be making more videos and series of tutorials to improve your web development and programming skills. This tutorial series is about Homebrew. Here is the syllabus you will learn how to use Homebrew well on Mac OS Unix system. Before you start installing Homebrew package, you will learn the Unix shell, define your default shell on Unix, find the shell's path between Bosch and Z shell, how to switch them easily and understand the error, no changes made. So let's get started. Until then, please subscribe to my Help Buddy channel and click the bell button to select all to get my all update notifications. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share. You can leave a message in the comment area if you have any questions. If you'd like to support Hellbody in making more videos, welcome to buy me a coffee. Please check the link just posted in the description below. Open the terminal, you can drop a comment line, type which, leave a space, Bosch, hit enter. You can see the Bosch script located in the bin directory. You can use the same method to find the other shell script location. Type which, make a space, Z S H, hit enter. You can see the Z shell path location. You can also use this command. LS means list, dash A means all. We are going to list all files which are from the path of bin directory and hit enter. You will see bash and Z shell both are into the list. Check by GUI to visible more understandable picture. Open the finder, select your hardware. Hold down the keyboard button, shift, command, and greater than keys. Then you can see the hidden files from the bin folder. The brush and seizure are in there. Brush or bone shell is a unique shell and common language or command processor. It usually runs or types comments that cause operations, such as reading or executing comments from files, called a shell script. The Z shell is a Unix shell as same as Bosch, but it works more interactive than Bosch. And as a comment interpreter for shell scripting, Z shell is an extension to the Bosch shell with many improvements, including some features of Bosch, Corn shell, and TC shell. Type bash, make a space, and two dashes. Version, hit enter. Or you just replace the path to check the version. It will come up with the same result. You can see my current bash version is 3.2.57. Check for the other shell version in the same way. Let's try Z shell.
My current Z shell version is 5.8. Why do they all appear on Mac OS? For a long period of time between 2009 and 2019, Bosch used to be the default login and interactive shell for all versions of Apple Mac OS. However, after the release of Mac OS Catalina in 2019, it changed the default shell to Z shell, like picture. But you still can see the older versions of Bosch as an alternative shell for Mac Unix. It's because Apple still hold the GPL v2 license that only allow distribute the old version 3 of Bash. And Z Shell is not using a GPL license. Mac OS Catalina adopted Z Shell as the default locking shell, so Apple can free to get it up today. At your Mac top left corner, click Apple Symbol, select System Preference, then choose User and Groups. Click the Lock button, enter your user password, and hit Unlock button. Select the user, and then right-click on your mouse. Select Advanced Options. The advanced option pop up. At Locking Shell, choose Bosch Shell option. Once completed, click OK. Back to the terminal. At the laptop corner next to the terminal, click on Shell. Select New Window to open the new command terminal. You can see the new terminal window open up which executed by Bosch as default shell. Go to login shell again. Now you can change to Z shell or the other. Once completed, click OK. Then open another new terminal window again. You can see this time it's executed by Z shell as default shell. Open the terminal. Go to the laptop corner terminal. Select Preference. You can see that the first general preference is selected. As the shells open with there, the default locking shell selection is affected by the user's advanced option setting. Back to the terminal. Run this on the Z shell command. CH means change, SH is shell. Dash lowercase s means read script without argument by the path. And hit enter. Insert your user password and hit enter. Open a new terminal window. You can see the boss new terminal open up. Due to replace the aging GPL v2 licensed version of Bosch from 2019, when Bosch is run interactively on a terminal, a warning is displayed by default. We can easily change to Z shell by path. Hit enter. Insert your user password and hit enter. Open a new terminal window. You can see the Z shell terminal open up. Go back to login shell. I'm going to select Z shell to run as my default shell. Click OK. 
go to the terminal preference, as shells open with. The next line of default login shell, command complete path. If we selected it and put the path, now for example, I'm putting barge path into the field, it will be set as a permanent shell. When I open a new terminal window, it's a new barge terminal, not a Z-shell default terminal. If I run the change shell script to Z-shell path, you can see the error, no changes made. If I make the opposite way, add locking shell to select bash path to run as my default shell. Add command complete path. I change Z shell path into the field. When I open a new terminal window, that's a Z shell terminal, not a default bash. This time I run the change shell script to bash path. Let me insert my password. Hit enter. But when I open the new terminal, that keeps in Z shell command, not bash. It remains open as Z shell default no matter how many new terminals are open. Between terminal preference and commands, be aware that commands complete paths confuse you from executing new shell scripts. You have to set the terminal preference as default which along your user login shell default settings. So you can run the shell script changing by command easily. It's because Apple still hold the GPL v2 license that only allowed distribute the old version 3 of Bosch. The current version 5 of Bosch is under the GPL v3 license, so Apple cannot give you an up-to-date Bosch or fix it box. That's the reason message will always show on each command by all version Bosch scripts. If you want more tutorials, subscribe to Hell Buddy channel and click the bell button to select all to get my all update notifications. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and share. Welcome to buy me a cup of coffee and support Hell Buddy to make more videos or visit Hell Buddy website. Thanks for watching.